I literally forgot to tell you guys that I am gonna start practicing gel eggs. Hey guys, good morning. So today is April 19th, it is Friday. And it is 8 in the morning. I just got out of the shower. Um, my client is going to be here in four minutes. She's running a little bit late. And by the way, I have eight clients today. First client is here, so she's gonna be getting um, one color Tosa. This is Jenna, she's a returning client. I love Jenna, she's love her. Hey guys, so this is Jenna. I am doing her toast. This was my first time ever doing her toast, she's my nail client. But she came for her toes this time. And this was her first time ever getting acrylic toes. So loved how the way they came out, girl. This is Bad and Bougie by Valentino. And I am using Valentino White for the white French. But this is my application. Application literally takes me like 15 minutes for both feet. Like I swear. The toe service alone is only an hour. So if you're a nail tech and you're thinking about adding toe services to your menu, this is your sign, girl. You can be getting paid $100 an hour if you take that leap of faith and you take away your fear of fee. Yeah. Maybe a Spanish teacher. Hmm. What's her name? Reina. Uh, Reina Vega? Yes. I literally have a class with her. No way. No way! Yes, girl. We, we're in the same internship. We're in the same. Bro, uh, what? Yes, she's graduating this year. She mm -hmm. is. Yes. She's looking for. She's been applying to jobs too. Uh -huh. I just seen her this is week. Is that? Is that? Uh, you do her nails? I do her toes. Oh. Okay. I just I did her toes. Mm -hmm. I just seen her because we went to college together, and I hadn't seen her since 2020. Yeah um like since before covid literally mm -hmm. so she came for her toes because she has something important this week yeah i forgot what it was but she had a, we had an award ceremony yeah and yeah oh my, oh my god, god that was a small world literally i followed her the other day because i wanted to dm her because uh -huh. i needed the pictures yeah and i saw that she followed you i was like oh she is so freaking smart i remember being in middle school with her and i was literally like Raina, can you send me the pictures yeah she's doing homework <laughs> yeah and i remember because uh she told me she lived in like both uh, started off middle school went to high school and then we ended in our college together mm -hmm. and then she continued yeah um, so you were going to UTA? No, I got accepted to UNTD oh. for business, my bachelor's in business, but I never went. Yeah. I never went. I just ended up doing the nails instead. Mm -hmm. Literally. You want to go back to school? I, some, a part of me does, bro, but yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, you should. <laughs> like, you already know the business. Right? You know? But so it's like, like, I don't know. I would want a different major, though. What would you want to do? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Because I, I know you told me you don't want to do nails forever. I don't want to do nails forever. Yeah. Like, I don't blame you. Like, I've been in the industry for five years. I don't see myself being in it for another five yeah, years. Yeah, literally. Or maybe, maybe, but some, some other part in the industry, you know? Yeah. You could just do classes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, getting my own Oh, school. how was Wallace's class? Oh, my God. She did amazing. Yeah, so... She's been practicing, like she just did ladies nails, and yeah. like she's doing really well. She's doing good. Yeah. She is. I'm mm -hmm. like, yes, girl. Like, of course she has, like, you put this one down. To, yeah, of course she has stuff to work on. Yeah, like, that's really good for a first time. No, like, literally, okay. and like, um, what do you call it? You can see the difference because I think I see. I had a before picture and mm -hmm. an after picture. Yeah, it was chef's kiss. Mm. Cause I know she loves doing it. Yes, I am so freaking proud of her. She did her thing. I was like, okay, Polly D. So whenever you'll get your license, do you have to do like the makeup and the hair? Um, no, so I think in the past you had to, but they have manicure school now. So you can oh, go, good. yeah, you could go just for manicuring. Um, you don't have to do the whole, because 
cosmetologist school is literally like 80% hair. I swear. Yeah. 80% um, hair. Like, 10% you know? nails, 10% mm-hmm. skin. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, because I know, like, the, one of my coworkers, she's in cosmetology school for hair. Mm-hmm. And, like, because she experiments on her hair all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, she comes in with a new hair color almost every day. Oh, <laughs> my girl. I love that. Yeah, she's Welcome back to another banger. <laughs> oh, I can't. Two and four nails by nail. Oh my god, am I gonna be on your content? You are. I need. <laughs> You're like, hello. This is Liliana. Hello. <laughs> We're doing a um, natural mani on her. And I'm gonna mix this pink and clear to make a little American color. Hopefully this goes good because this brush has a little white on it. So make sure there's no white on there. And we're going to mix this just for a little color. Just a little hint of pink. Oh, yeah. Oh, purr. Yeah. We love that. Definitely. My mom is going to be jelly. Shout out to mom. I literally feel like I don't even buy nail supplies anymore. I feel like I only buy the nail essentials now. Like what I need to work with. Mm-hmm. Like the actual like, you know. I feel like I don't buy products. I buy supplies. Yeah. Because I feel like I make it. Yeah, like it's just so easy to make things like simple. And her next set is going to be Joe Lex. Um, mm-hmm. Even if she doesn't want it, I'm going to force her. Because <laughs> yeah, she's going to be my guinea pig. I'll probably do it for you for free. You, my mom, and my sister. Before I do a client, because how do you say I'm scared in Spanish? Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo. Está bien, amiga. Yeah, and I'm also gonna do, guys. I'm also gonna do a full YouTube video of me speaking Spanish for 24 hours. Sí, sí, sí. Como <laughs> <así>. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, a full day speaking Spanish. A day in a life of a Mexican. Oh what? Oh my, he can. Oh my, he can put that in. What she say? A Mexican. Oh Jesus Christ! It's Davian. Toughen up, Buttercup. You got this. <laughs> if you know, you know that Joe, that Joe Spike, that heat Spike. Ah. <laughs> yeah. To go live all the time with Lily. The triple OG. You know. Live in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm saying. Um, got my girl 214 nails by Val. Uh, doing it. Uh, Manny. <laughs> yeah, did. Did my mom send you um, Sophia's graduation thing? Yeah. 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 She didn't send it to me. Oh. I'm just kidding. I made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, um, should I say no? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm-hmm. She's like, I know we barely met, but I can't wait to be on this train. I said, bro, stop. <laughs> she said, I'm glad I witnessed it. Oh, bro, sobbing. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I just got done with my second client. The cat's tunnels, like. They're crazy. How happy do you usually get? Girl, a mess. It's so expensive. I freaking hate it. What do you I get? I hate it because I love it. I do the brown sugar ice shake and espresso. Uh-huh. And so it has oat milk and um, it's blonde espresso. So it's like kind of sweeter. Mm-hmm. And I do... That already sounds bougie. <laughs> it's ridiculous, girl. And then I add vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. Oh, my God. A caramel drizzle and white mocha pump inside. How do you feel whenever you go a day without it? Okay, so <laughs> like I'm missing something. <laughs> but that's because I was working. When I was working, I had to go get my coffee. Oh, like yeah. I'm not going to work unless I got my coffee. Like I will pull up late to work with a coffee with no shame. But okay. over like, the, well. the last couple of days I did um is it Alinu or A-L-I-N-U, the energy drinks. 
Oh, Elani. 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 Thank you. Yeah, Elani. I think it's Elani. That's the ones I've tried Do you the like past it? couple days. I like it. Yeah. It's super good. Like, I could see myself maybe replacing my coffee with those a couple days of the really? week. Really? Like, maybe minimize and only do coffee, like, once a week. Mm -hmm. You know? Just kind of slowly. I seen it, I seen it on TikTok. I didn't know it was an energy drink. Yes, but it has zero sugar. Oh. And it has biotin. It has B12. So, is it, like, a healthy energy it's drink? It's a healthier version. Oh, okay, and okay, it, okay. the flavor is so good. Like, it actually tastes good. What kind did you try? What did they have different flavors? I did. Or? They have different, so many different ones. Mm -hmm. I did the one, the like Kim K one. It's called Kimade. Oh, so it's yeah. like a pink lemonade, and it's in a pink can. I really just got it because it was cute, but it was good. <laughs> it tasted actually good. Really? And the other one I tried was cherry slushy, and Ooh. that was good. It was super sweet though, so I don't know how they did that with no sugar, because right. it was pretty sweet. But it was cool. I liked it. My girlfriend hated it, but I thought it was good. <laughs> I was like, I could see myself buying these by the pack and maybe. She's like, mm-mm. Because I got to have something. I'm sorry. Right. I got to have some silly little treat to get me going in the day. <laughs> like, for real. I came with you. For real. Like, That's some silly little <laughs> treat. <laughs> like, I used to wake up at 3 in the morning. Do you remember that era? I morning? do. I was like, bro, she is insane and in a good way that's like, like that's like me not even like taking nothing just straight like let's go to the gym i need that i need to be her <laughs> like <laughs> no more like three in the morning is crazy yeah no three is sick i stopped doing that when i got Luna. and now with me doing bottle service girl i can do it if i wanted to i'd be going to bed at three for oh, real yeah. so that's another thing like with nightlife it makes it hard like yeah. your sleep schedule be so screwed mm -hmm. because i got off it so really when you do bottle long. service, like what time do you start your clients with petition? Okay, so I always take off Monday mm -hmm. because girl, I just worked all weekend. Yeah. Um, but during the weekdays I do my first client at like nine. Oh. Eight. And you're like working the night before or no? Mm -mm, not most of the time. Because I only do bottle service on the weekend. Oh well that's so it's like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which sounds like a lot, but mm -hmm. I'll take a client on a Wednesday, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. Or even a Thursday. Like, because Thursdays are light. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm lying because I will. I still have some Sundays that I have reoccurring clients. Mm -hmm. So I just wake up anyway. Like, I'm dead exhausted. Like, I went to bed at 3, but I'm up in here at your appointment at 9. Like, it's really OD sometimes. But mm -hmm. only for certain people that I know for sure is going to be there. And yeah, I'm they're not going to show you. Right. Yeah. The gym and lunch, it's a mess. Like, I really need to. But I lost 15 pounds by fasting. You know, I've, I've thought about, like, intermittent fasting. Yeah. Well, yeah, intermittent I fasting. Days. I did, like, well, because it was during the time where I was trying to figure out if I wanted to be Catholic or Christian. So I was fasting yeah. so I could, like, read my Bible every day and, like, get closer and, like, just... Right, spiritual reasons. Yeah, just freaking, like, reset my mind. And I did it pretty extreme, not gonna lie. The way I did it was... Um, because I really wanted to just rely on, like, reading my Bible. That's yeah. that's my main thing. And I don't have any medical issues either, so I could do it. Right. But um, I did one day, I would eat something, like a meal. I would eat whatever meal I wanted. But it was it had to be healthy, though, and it had to be, like, under 100 calories. Not 100 calories. What? Like, it had to be <laughs> under under 1,000 a, a calories. Okay, yeah. Anything under 1,000 calories, whatever meal. And so that's how I do it. Monday would eat one meal. Tuesday would eat nothing. Just do a water fast. Just drink yeah. water. Um, and some people, I think it's called the David fast. Some people do it where it's like they drink water and fruits and stuff like that. Yeah. I kind of feel like that's what I was doing too. Because some days when I would do a water fast, I would only drink. I would only eat like an orange or a banana or right. something. Which that's a little easier. Yeah. Just like you're still having something. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, Whenever I would get hungry, I would feed my feed my mind with the words of the Bible instead of feeding my m me with food. Yeah. Because I feel like another thing I struggle with too is gluttony. Do you know what that is? Yes. Gluttony. Yeah. I feel like I was struggling with that a lot. Like. I feel that. Just being an emotional eater. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, love it, girl. Stop playing right <laughs> now. Oh, literally. I love, I love, I love, I love. Okay, so this one is so cute. I know. I love how clustered oh, it is. Not the lash on my. Stop. That means That's she's an esthetician. Mess. 
Okay, let me put cuticle on your nails. I'm gonna record it and then we're gonna move on to your toesies. position this like more aesthetically um so yesterday when i was filming yesterday i heard a voice and when i heard the voice i ignored it i heard it in person i didn't think that you could hear it but it actually caught it on camera like it literally caught it on camera so i'm gonna play the clip here without like any music in the background so that you guys can hear i actually posted it to my youtube but so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'm gonna be filming my entire day tomorrow as well so yeah later let me know what you guys think it's saying it's so freaking weird like it's so weird and i've been living in this house since november um, i hear like things fall but i just ignore it um and this was the first time I actually heard like something, you know, and it's so freaking weird because I was talking about it to Kayla, my third client, I think my third client, I was talking about it to her. We we're talking about it, right? About our experiences and whatever. Tell me why when I got done with her nails and we moved on to doing her toes, we we're talking about it still. I literally heard it again. I heard it again, bro, and I know I'm not going crazy because I show this clip to like my people and my family and like my clients, and they're like, "Yes, I hear it." And they're like, they say three things. They say, "I think it's like breathing," um, saying "Yeah" or saying "Help." And I do not know like what's going on, so um, I am gonna have my grandma and my grandpa come and say a prayer in my house with me um just to clean out any i don't know like i work from home i don't know if anything follows my clients or anything's following me attached to anything or any item any person so i'm just gonna do that for like the conscience of my own mind i literally forgot to tell you guys that i am gonna start practicing gel eggs everything in the mail so maybe i'll soak off my nails y'all i'm sitting here chilling <laughs> about to like export my videos to CapCut to edit a little bit so i don't have to like stay up all night editing why is milo over here <laughs> making biscuits on me he's my youngest child guys he is smaller than leo he has the white stripe on his back as i know it's milo he is not a mama's boy he has his lovey-dovey moments, but it's not 24-7 like it is with Leo. And he has, like, every time you... And he's been doing this since he was a kid, but every time you would pick him up, he makes a little noise. He'd be like, eh, eh, like, he makes a little noise. And if you do that to him still, he still makes that noise. Like, watch. Like, he's just a grumpy little cat. Like, watch. Hi, Papa. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, guys, Milo is in his lovey dovey mood. Caught in 4K. He's caught in 4K. Oh, you go Mimi, Papa Chito. You go Mimi, amor. You go Mimi. You go Mimi, amor Chito. Huh? I love you. I love you, amor Chito. I love you. <laughs> He's still making biscuits. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm on break time and my sister and my brother-in-law are over there. They bought me lunch, so period. Watch my latest YouTube channel and I'm going to force them to watch it because we need to get them views, right? Period. Is this little Sophie and Jose cook? Hey guys, so my next client is here. Um, I literally changed so much throughout the day. It's crazy, but it's like the last video, but I literally changed so often during the day. I'm just one of those. But I'm a little tired, not gonna lie. I'm a little tired right now. So hopefully this is like, 
hopefully this is like a pick me up appointment you know where i'm just like okay energy is back but i have three more clients to go and i'm tired girl i'm tired dress because i've worked on my back here mm -hmm. so he's like where are you from love all this i was like i'm from dallas he's like damn do you stand out like do you still stay there i'm like yeah he's like oh, okay i stay in houston like do you mind me getting to know you or whatever and i was like like i went to his page i was like mm, he's pretty cute so then i was like no like i don't mind so he's like okay give me your number so like we've been texting for a while but mm -hmm. it hasn't been consistently you know mm -hmm. like, well it wasn't consistently so then he texts me and no, i posted my airbnb and then he was like hey i have a because he's like a football coach for mm -hmm. his job he's like we have a scrimmage down there and i'm trying to see like can i book your airbnb and i'm like hell yeah you can book my airbnb like i'll give you a little discount mm -hmm. uh, so first of all he took too long to book the airbnb somebody booked it before him and like, mm -hmm. i'm not saving dates for no money you know what i'm saying like yeah no. if you don't book it somebody beat you to the punch oh well mm -hmm. so because i just learned my lesson with that like yeah i'm trying to book block a date off for somebody and then they didn't come and somebody else had asked me and i was like no somebody's coming right they didn't come so i was like i'm not doing that no more so yeah. anyways he can't he came here but he didn't book my airbnb because somebody else booked, he booked something else whatever mm -hmm. it was fine anyway because i didn't even know that he was a coach for like kids and he, he brought the kids down here i was like uh-uh kids can't come up with my airbnb mm -hmm. like he had like 10 12 year olds maybe that's a one bedroom what the fuck y'all gonna do in there anyway so whatever he came no we met up for the date because like i don't like people picking me up when i don't know them for real mm -hmm. especially like knowing where i live and all that like mm -hmm. nah he came to the we met downtown Dora, but i couldn't find parking mm -hmm. and he couldn't find parking so i ended up valeting my car paying 20 dollars mm -hmm. to park mm -hmm. and then he called me and was like first of all okay I think I skipped the part. We had never FaceTime or been on the phone <laughs> at all. You're bold. Very bold. Never FaceTime. I didn't even know his voice sound like nothing. Barely can remember what he looked like. Anyways, I was like, whatever, I'm gonna go get me some Adora. Wait, do you mind if I put this on YouTube? I don't care. Like the audio? Okay. <laughs> so then, um, yeah, so he called me like, hello. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Bro, no, what if he called you and his voice was like squeaky? I would have said, squeaky. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> he's like, okay, I'm like, parking. I'm like, we need this. And then he's oh like, you God. park first, and I'm come get you. And then, like, I'm a park, and we're gonna walk together. And I was like, <laughs> but I think he's gonna hang up. He did not hang up. Dang. So like, I'm hella nervous because I'm like, this nigga a deep voice, whatever. Bro. So he, I'm like, what car are you in? Like. He comes pick me up and then I open the door whenever I get in the car. Oh my god, that's so awkward! Like trying to find the car. Oh, yes. and and like, I do we're downtown, so it's like a whole bunch of cars, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there. You know my eyes big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there staring in the street. Like, so embarrassing, bro. Like, but I, I was cute that day. I'm gonna show you what I had on. Okay, I was cute that day. Let's see. But anyway, so he picked me up and then I'm like hella butterflies. So I'm like this oh. nigga is fine. But anyways. Mm -hmm. so we get to Medora and they're like it's an hour wait Dang. so i already knew that though because i was like but we didn't make no reservation in Medora it's yeah. gonna take hell long mm -hmm. so we ended up just like walking downtown and mm -hmm. talking and stuff and mm -hmm. we were like it wasn't awkward at all like that's good it was like i already knew him too. yeah like, we were hella cool and he was just like holding my hand and stuff i was like chill so on the date we were just like joking and stuff like just talking regular uh but the thing was this dude i guess he was like having hella allergies because he was like oh literally he kept going to the bathroom to blow his nose and like i, I had to keep asking the waitress for napkins Bro. we had to stop like we had to walk to 7-eleven get him some zyrtec oh my was, god he was struggling hey guys so in case you guys don't know these are not fungus toes. This is a no disorder called melanuchia, which is most commonly found in women that have a lot of melanin in their skin. Just like how we have melanin in our hair, our skin, um, we have melanin in our toenail. So this is, in other words, hyperpigmentation of the toenail. So as you can see on her big toe, there's like a line of dark, right? And then on her fourth toe, it's completely dark. So in other words, she is blessed with melanin, so it is okay to work on. And here is the final result. This is my client, Cass. I love her so much. We did some spring toes, and she let me freestyle. It was so much fun. So it's currently the next day. It is Saturday now. Um, 
So last night, six client, she, um, we did short pink nails, pink and white and toes. And then my last client, we did her toe set. Um, and I forgot to film during guys because I had no more storage in my phone. Like I literally need to go and delete all these apps. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to film a, a nail room tour because I have a lot of people asking me. I got you guys. And I'm going to put links in the description. I got you guys. But yeah, guys, hope you have an amazing day. God loves you. And I want to film Bible talk and a nail room tour. So yeah, bye guys.